fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Officer Nichols will brief you at the top. Be careful. It's taking him so long. Something must be wrong. I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Just take it easy. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope. But we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. We want Wolf. Don't try anything and nobody will get hurt. Try to stay calm. You better hurry.
As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the elder things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. It's locked. At last! Like you. He seemed to recognize me. I don't get it. Poisoning by the looks of it. I can't open it. Nothing of interest. Nope, nothing of interest. He's dead. They're all... I can't open it. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. W Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Damn. He recognized me. A key. This should help downstairs. He's dead. Dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. It won't open. It won't budge. The lock on the store is broken.
It's locked. It's the wrong key. It's unlocked. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? It must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've gotta think. They've been tracking my movements. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. Unlocked. It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. It appears to be a private study area. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. These books are really old, and most of them are in strange languages I don't understand.
that's just swell. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Medical charts on the human anatomy. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. The machine must have overloaded. He's dead. Well, at least he's out of his misery. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. There's no power. It looks like something's been removed from it. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, 
Brown was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. <laughs> 